Hi, I'm Andre Pfizer. Uh, it's a great day today. I won't hold you, but I felt something really important uh, in my heart, and I just want to share it. Could be for me. I think a lot of things that I share are for me. As a lot of us are teachers, we just don't get a word to give to people. But we share our life with people, and everybody grows from one another as we begin to talk to ourselves. And as we evolve into our full life of God, we share with other evolutionaries and all of us evolutionaries of the divine pursuance. We begin to eat from one another's table and we expand because we're eating from the same table, from one father. And as we expand, we share meals. We pass the bread and someone else passes the meat. And we eat together and we share in a communion without even seeing one another. So I'm going to share a part of my communion with you. I believe it's time for most of us to upgrade our prayer purpose. Some of us may pray from a preferential dimension, but it's time to connect on a sovereign situation. Some of us are carrying wealth and life and power, but we're in the wrong city. We're in the wrong place. We're in the wrong environment. We're in the wrong temperament. Some of us carry great things, but the city we live in has a temperament that's not strong enough to handle this wine that we have. Some of us have new wine, but we're living in no wine skin. And so it's impossible to pour who we are into an atmosphere that's an old wineskin. And so we need to be open. We need to not just pray preferentially, but we need to pray sovereignly. We need to say, Father, are we in the right city? Are we in the right state? Some of us, we have jobs and we have family and we have people that we know in a place of familiarity, but we know that the season has come. God is gonna begin to uproot a lot of us and tell us that it's time to leave again. But we've grown comfortable, and we've grown comfortable trying to give. And after a while, you'll find yourself as a great orator that only has the power to speak in a city, but it's not bringing life because the, that city doesn't have the temperament to handle who you are. And it's not a matter of what church and the religion, it's the timing and the temperament. You need to find out what city am I called to? What temperament? What, which temperament or temperature or atmosphere is conducive for my existence? Where can I plant? Where can I thrive? Because some of you are carrying excellent, excellence in environments that have a certain temperament to not love or, or grow at excellence. So you could be an efficient businessman. You could be an efficient businesswoman, but you're in a part of the city that really don't react to great excellence. They, they react to hookups. And if you are demanding excellence where a hookup is, is the thriving situation, then your excellence won't be received because you're in the wrong temperament. And there are some of us who know who we are and we're trying to be who we are in a city that don't know who it is. And when you are in a city that don't know who it is, it will, it will put you under arrest for knowing who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Even Jesus couldn't be the son of God in every city. The word said that he could only heal a few headaches and a few sick folks. He could not be God. And some of us, some of us can't be our full divine selves because the city and the area of town we live in is not thriving in us being everything, but it wants us to be no thing. So it's time to really connect to a sovereign thought and not a preferential prayer, like God bless me, help me, open the door so I can speak. There is some doors that are not meant to open for you in certain atmospheres, because if it opens, you're gonna stay. And maybe, and just maybe God is wanting to us to get out by shedding some doors that we're pushing because we won't leave on our own. You understand? How many of you feel me? So it's time to upgrade our prayer openness and begin to pray from the sovereign will of God. Where would you have me to live? Not who will hear me preach. 
But where will you have me to exist? What is the right temperament for my life? Who's called to me? Which temperament? Which, et, which school of thought? Which atmosphere? Which environment? Which synchronicity is called to me? Not which preference. Maybe it's the time out now to consider family and friends while you pray. Maybe it's time to consider your purpose because some of us are carrying wealth and we're in the wrong town. We're carrying an incredible revelation of life and we're in the wrong city. Oh, they like us, but they're not open to why you exist. Some plants need to be turned to certain directions in the light to grow. Every plant don't grow in the sun. It, you have to turn it in a certain direction. You just can't put it in the sun. Well, maybe there is a direction where God is turning us to grow. Maybe we're just out there and maybe God wants to bring us some more into the shade and turn us to the right or turn us to the left. Some plants you just can't sit out there. You have to slowly turn them uh, multidirectionally so they could get a little sun here and there. And maybe that's for some of us. Some of us have big things and we're carrying incredible excellence, but the temperament isn't ready for you. It's not just the timing, it's the temperament. The temperament chokes at your excellence. And so you will be by yourself excellence, excellent with no growth. You will be by yourself with excellence and no growth. You understand? So I just wanted to share that with you. It's time, it's time, and I love every one of you, but it's time to be open to a sovereign purpose. What's the sovereign thrust? And begin to be open. God, am I in the right town? You're in the right time, but you might not be in the right town. You're in the right season, but you may not be in the right temperament. The attitude of the area is not conducive to my attitude. And after a while, you'll come down and come down and trim yourself and trim yourself till you trim yourself right out of your uniqueness. Because if you have to leave your divine uniqueness to make a sale, then you've just embraced poverty. You've just become unoriginal to gain a customer. Which temperament is asking for my uniqueness? Which city, which town looks like me? Are you ready to upgrade your prayer? God bless you.